Chaleos, 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 welcome back, welcome back people, it's the Critic Corp, I am Toke, and this is my review today on, uh, Shogun, fucking episode 6, um, yeah man, this shit's, like I said bro, they were, Hulu, they, they're in their bag, they're in their bag with this one bro, FX, Hulu, whatever you wanna, um, place it under, they're in their bag on this one, bro. This shit's fucking fire, man. Every single episode is just fucking great, really. Uh, even even the one episode that was like uninteresting, out of the um, out of the most, uh, you know, other past uh episodes prior to and shit was still it was still it was it was still somewhat you know intriguing and shit but this one man this one's fucking this one was this one like just a straight up builder straight up builder for what's to come um as far as the war between um um Torinaga's and uh Torinaga and um Ishido um but you know it's is really not Ishido calling the shots anymore, man. Fucking Lady Ochiba is pulled up to the scene, and she's she's there to ensure that everything goes smoothly and Torinaga's um and and, t and that she has Torinaga's head, you know, <laughs> uh, because I guess he uh ended up having something to do with, uh, her father's death and whatnot, so that's the only reason, that's, like, one, that's, like, the main reason she's, um, so, uh, you know, just persistent on, you know, Tori Naga getting impeached and shit, assassinated even, um, fucking, we got to learn a little bit more about her backstory, this one, Lady Ochiba, um, you know, her, her original name, you know, is, uh, Ru, Ruri, or whatever, um, her bad story is kind of fucked up, bro, they, they, they do some fucked up shit in these other cultures, bro, like, damn, man, like, Japan, y'all, wild, y'all are, y'all are fucking wild, bro, um, they fucking drugged this girl, um, you know, drugged her, into conceiving a child with um the 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 Taiko, you know, just to have a uh you know have have another hair a higher or whatever. Um, and it's like, damn, bro. For first, first off, you, you drugging this girl. Secondly, you forcing her to. See a baby at 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 a young age like that, like wow, it was it's just wild, bro. That shit blows my mind. It blows my fucking mind. Um, Tori Naga, he's a. Uh, at first, he he really he really wasn't down with um. The idea, but at the end of this episode, he he was all game. He's all game. He he's declaring. He declared war. Officially declared war. Like it, it came out of his mouth. Now that war is officially being declared, and um, he's accept. He's accepting the um the crimson the the I the the plan of uh the crimson sky, which is fucking you know. Um, him pretty much becoming Shogun, and, um, fucking, you know, taking what's rightfully his, and, um, just, like, uh, eliminating the council, um, you know, rushing o Osaka, eliminating the council, and, uh, you know, forming a new gov, and just, Taking, uh, taking the role as a uh, as the like the, the the main soul, uh, fucking Reagan and whatnot, like him and no one else type of deal, and um, like I said, at first he he wasn't game for it, 
you know, because he, he kind of, he kind of felt like it was a, um, you know, a, a, a big, big chance of him just dying like that, that not going as planned, good, very, uh, very, you know, very good as planned and whatnot, and now that he learned that, uh, Sugiyama was, was, like, one of his, one of his, one of his, like, right hands, like, his, his boy got, uh, killed, trying to leave Osaka to warn him about some more shit, because he came and warned him about, um, fucking the, uh, the, what's the name, bro? The lockdown, they, Osaka got put on lockdown through Lady Ochiba, uh, orders to, uh, Ishido, and, um, yeah, he got, Tori Naga got notified about that, but, um, once he got notified about this, about Sugiyama getting killed, trying to, uh, you know, leave Osaka, that, that was it, that was it right there, that, that, that was the final straw for, um, Tori Naga, so, yeah, man, shit's about to get wild, this, uh, these these next three episodes, oh 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 boy, like that shit's about to get wild, man. I can't even wait. Um, fuck, like it wasn't even no trailer, um, to see, or I, I, I it wasn't accessible or whatever, um, you know, just yet. But um, I yeah, I I just know shit's about to go down, bro. I know shit's about to go down. Um, as far as John, man, he's, he's really stuck in a pickle here, man. Like, it's either, cause it's, it's either he follows the orders of Torinaga or he's dead. It's, he's dead. Like, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. No, no getting around that shit, bro. And all he really wants to do, he's tired of being aging. He's tired, he's tired of, um, just being, you know, feel, he, he's feeling like he's, um, you know, under a certain type of supervision to where, you know, they making it seem like he's in control, but he's really not. And, um, now that, you know, he, he didn't, he, because he keeps proving himself to Tori Naga that, he is the one. He's the one. So Tori Naga just keep, uh, you know, gifting him with all these fucking, all these, uh, all these type of things. You know, he 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 put him in command of the cannons. Now, um, he's fucking, you know, he 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 put he named him as Hamato or whatever. Um, and now, and he, and he just keep bringing this nigga, uh, pleasure with these prostitutes, like, bro, is, he, he's, he's like, John's like, fuck, like, I, I really don't want none of this shit, I just want my men back, my ship, and to murk the Portuguese, like, um, I initially had planned, but, it's, you know, there's <laughs> nothing really he can do about it, bro. He, he's in there for the long run, and you know this man's fucking. He, he's 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 uh really developed a um a love, a secret passion for um Lady uh, Marquio, and that shit can't even be be put to light. Cause if it does, he's gonna die too. He, he him and Lady Marquio might fucking get murked for that one. So shit, man. It's it's some shit. It's some shit, bro. It's some shit. I um I I kind of feel for the guy, but at the same time, it's like damn, nigga. <laughs> Is this better than what what you were going to get, bro? You know, initially starting off, you know, he was imprisoned with his crew and shit. Like they, I I believe his men are dead. Like I don't know, they keep lying and saying uh, they've been transferred here and there and they're okay. Nah, these niggas, this niggas men, this, nigga, this man's crew is gone. They're gone. Um, they just telling them what he want to hear type of deal. But um. 
Yeah, man. I like I said, this this fucking series is just great overall. I I I absolutely adore every single moment of it. Um, love the love the cast casting. It was perfect, perfectly cast. A one cast. Um, you know, the story is just steady progressing, and I'm I'm loving. I'm I'm just loving it. I'm I'm loving it, bro. I'm milking it up. Man, fuck. Ah, uh, I can't believe we only got seven more episodes. I mean, my bad. I'm so sorry. I can't believe we're about to be on ep episode seven already. So we only got three more episodes. Um, but yeah, man. That's, that's all I really got for you guys on this one. Um, like and subscribe. Support the motherfucking corp. Leave some comments. Let me know what you guys thought about this uh, episode. And um, yeah. I will be back uh, tomorrow with fucking X-Man 97, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, so be it. Toodles!